One of the things I did learn was that part of the reason the universities have their degrees are valuable is because they, they were very careful in terms of meritocratic admission, and they also have a hammer lock on accreditation. And so once you have an MBA, obviously you're accredited as an MBA graduate from a given school. And that means you had a certain peer network and a certain level of intellectual proficiency even to get into the program. A certain degree of conscientiousness to rigorously pursue the program and pass, and pass it. So the value in the universities in large part is, is nested inside the accreditation. Now you could imagine, and I don't think this is technically impossible, you could imagine a system of blockchain accrediting tests that would be freely available to people. You know, I, I would do this on a for-profit basis, but so that if you wanted to claim Bachelor of Arts equivalents with regards to your knowledge of the humanities, that you could take a set of objective tests that couldn't be mucked about with by administrators and gain your proxy by that manner. So ma imagine this, it's, it's, it's an enterprise that I've envisioned and we're pursuing at the moment. Imagine I could gain a, um, uh, produce a data set of 10,000 multiple choice questions, say in American history. And I could do that by buying multiple choice tests from high school and university professors all across the country. Okay, now we'd have to administer them to several thousand people, and then we could analyze each question with regards to its accuracy as a predictor of general knowledge domain. You can do that, you can rank order them. Then imagine you have a program that can randomly pick equivalent level of difficulty questions from that whole set of 10,000. You could set up a system that could produce random tests so they couldn't exactly be faked or cheated easily, and you could rank order people in terms of their knowledge domains with regards to those tests, and you could blockchain it so it would be completely impenetrable to administrative interference, and you could steal the accreditation away from the universities. And I think that's, yeah, that's the, I can't see any reason yeah. at all that that's not technically possible.